What is going on, everybody? I'm going to bring another tutorial, and I know I haven't done a tutorial in a long while. I just really, you know, been excited with my new COD and my Punk Buster working and stuff. But that is actually what this tutorial is going to be on. It's going to be on how to properly play COD 4 Modern Warfare multiplayer on the PC. Some people have been having problems with the Punk Buster that. So they can't join servers because their Punk Buster um, has updated and it does not support Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare anymore. And yeah, that is true. Punk Buster, didn't, if you go on the Punk Buster site, um, let me see. Nope. Sorry, that was what I was searching before. If you go to punkbuster.com, as you can see, latest PB versions, they have no more Call of Duty whatsoever. Only They have Battlefield. Um, let me see. These are all the games right here, just right here, that it supports. And with a new update, it took out all the COD because it's thinking that no one will be playing COD anymore on the PC. Yeah, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 2, Bad Company, Heroes, Ghost. Uh, they don't even have Ghost, COD Ghosts. They don't um, have Medal of Honor because these uh, they're saying that these are, I, I don't know, maybe they think that COD 4 is, too, is ha too much hack that... They won't. They don't really care about it anymore. They just lost support of Call of whatsoever, and you can't play multiplayer anymore. But there is a fix because there's this amazing YouTuber online, and I saw the video, and he downloaded an old P Punk Buster setup that was back then. That was what that it supported um COD, and it is right here. It this here's the readme that he put and I kind of modified because um some people have um installed COD on different because I installed Call of Duty through Steam some people installed it through the real um the real one um if you did not if you bought Call of Duty um through Steam then it'll be here it will be program files Steam Steam apps but if you bought it through the the web Activision website it'll be Program files, Activision, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. But I did not, I bought it through Steam, so that's why I added this. And, uh, with Steam, I think with Steam, the PB, that, this is, this is the thing that you'll be replacing. This PB, like, if you go to where, this is where, um, your COD 4 is, is installed. Right here. Um, yeah. By the way, this video is gonna teach you on how to fix the Punk Buster Not Initialized message you get whenever you join multiplayer and you can't really play anymore. And Punk Buster is basically essential to play um, online. So this is the PB that will be, this will be, oh, this is actually the the one that, this is good, this is the one that works. But before, if, um, let me show you. When you bought Call of Duty now, and you have the new Punk Buster, oh, well, do not, if you have an old Punk Buster that does support Call of Duty now, do not update it, because if you update it, then it won't work anymore. So, this is the old PB. This is the PB that came with it. This is the one that does not work, all right? Because this is the one that is updated. And it, and it does not work for, um, what you call it, for COD anymore. So, you want to make a backup first. That's why I made a backup. Uh, it's, you know, the backup was right here. Let me see. This is not the backup, but the backup was this folder. I backed it up so in case anything went wrong, I still have the old one. But, you know. So, what you want to do is download the file I have in the description. Is a media file that will make you install this. And this is the um, the file. And right-click and extract here. You'll get this file. I'll put this in my And you'll get this file. Open it up. You have the readme. And this this thing is the one that is the really old Punk Buster version. So, what you want to do is go to where you installed your COD. I have mine here in, a, in my C drive. It's in, let me see, it's in my C, Program Files at x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Call of Duty. And, yeah, I can just find it through there. Or just go to wherever you installed your call, you know. You, you, you should know where you installed it. Now, again, you will, you will have the old PB. And what you want to do is get this and drag it there and replace it, okay? And then once you've done that, as you can see, this looks different than this, but that's because I already ran it, so it'll look different. And what you want to do is open up pbsetup.exe. This is the old one. Hit I agree, and do not, do not click this button right here. Do not click check for updates, or else you'll ruin everything. And I think you'll have to redo it, but I don't know. Just do not, don't take your chances. Do not click this button. So you will not have any game what here, um, like nothing. 
what you want to do is go to add game and this is where um people have been like you know you know um bummed because this option was not here anymore when you want to go to cod 4 and it'll automatically locate where your cod is so you can go to browse and if that's wrong you can go to browse and you can go to browse and find it here but that's right so we hit add game and basically that's it so what you can do is close i think you can close out of it just um x out of that um and if it doesn't work then just open it back up again and the guy agrees fine but nonetheless sorry uh i think you can act out a bit now because um yeah and what you want to do is i'll meet you back in the cod because then the next step and the fi last and final step will be in the cod because you basically done everything yeah the next and final step are gonna be in cod so i'll have to meet you there um i think you can leave this running um just to be safe just leave it running because i left it running and, and that that's worked the first time but you don't have whenever you play online call you don't have to keep on opening it it's just a hassle so yeah you can close out of that i'm just going to re um you know go through everything that we did so then you can make sure you've done everything right so open up the punk buster the cod pb folder that you downloaded that is in my description you know this is the old pb that will work that has cod and the readme text all right this is the one you downloaded on the internet now go to where you downloaded or bought or installed cod which is i already nope that is not it what the heck i will just gonna go through it myself. So go to where you installed the app, put mine in. If you install it through Steam, or if, no, if you install it through, um, through the Activision, it'll be in Windows C, x86, and Activision here. Or if you got the 64 bit, it'll be in Program Files, then it'll be in Activision. But if you installed it through Steam, then it'll, it'll be in Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Call of Duty 4. And then replace the the new Punk Buster that does not work with the old Punk Buster that you downloaded. Replace that. Open it up. Run PB Setup. I agree. Do not hit check for updates. And add game, add COD, and all that stuff. Exit out of that, exit out of that. And then, yeah. That's basically it. That's how simple it is. So now, I'm going to meet you there in the COD. Alright, so once you are on COD 4 Modern Warfare Multiplayer, make sure you're on Multiplayer. If it's a single player down here, th that, that's, it's good, you are on Multiplayer. This just means to switch to single player. Go on the Multiplayer, it's just a join game and start new server and stuff. So what you do, once you do, once you're on the home screen of the, um, the um, COD 4 Modern Warfare Multiplayer, you go to Options, Multiplayer Options, and Punk Buster Enable to Yes. But the first thing before doing this, it may, when you first open up um, COD 4, it should say instead of the error punk buster not initialized if you did everything right it should say um punk buster's not enabled you want to enable it and then you can enable it and you hit yes if it is not already enabled here but if it doesn't say that and if it doesn't say anything in error and it just pops up then you're perfectly good then and you have to enable punk buster um yeah do that and i think i think um with a new with a old punk buster file this is automatically turned off, so you want to turn it back on and it'll automatically do it for you when it asks you at the start instead of giving you the error message. So now you can join a game, join any game you want, including Punk Buster games. It won't say a waiting connection, one, two, three, for like hours until you're, you lose your patience. You can, oh crap, it was the wrong class. Oh well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not even playing seriously. This is just a little play. Um, I'm just playing here just to show you guys that it does work now. Everything worked perfectly. You can chat uh, if you have the console, of course. You can say hi. You can do all this stuff. You're so cool. We're tied at 50-50. Oh. I suck. See? I'm just not even trying right now. So, I'm just leave the game. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope this guys helped you guys. I hope this tutorial helped you in any way. And if it did, if you can play multiplayer now, please give this video a like. Share it with everyone who is having any troubles. You know, feature it, favorite it. I think you need to watch it only once, and then you can do, play multiplayer again. The, this I based this off tutorial. I watched on YouTube. I forgot the name. I'll have to shout him out though because he helped so much. He's the one who gave the download link. I want to thank him so much. If you know who you are, if you recognize your file, I'm sorry I didn't get to show you. I just comment, but whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this guys helped you. If I hope this tutorial helped you. If this helped you guys, then give it a thumbs up. Share with everyone. And I want to thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video.
Peace out.